Welcome to the Upper Room, our prayer chapel here at Word of Life Church. And I love this room. It's my favorite place in the whole campus, the Upper Room at Word of Life. And we've added something new. We've added the 14 stations of the cross, the 14 biblical stations of the cross. I'll show you how it works. It's a devotional journey with Jesus from His betrayal to His burial in 14 stations, from the Garden of Gethsemane to the Garden of Joseph of Arimathea. And it works like this. We begin with Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. And you notice this beautiful artwork. And you, it helps draw you into that experience of being G, with Jesus in the Garden. And on each one of these stations, there's a meditation. Jesus, we see you in the Garden, praying in the darkness of the night, and so on. And then it follows with a prayer that we offer to Jesus. Oh, Jesus, wake us from our sleep, etc. And then finally, there's a summing up of the prayer. We love you, Jesus. Teach us how to pray. Let me show you all 14. So you start with in the garden. And now we're with Jesus when He's betrayed and arrested, condemned by the Sanhedrin. Here, Peter denies Jesus. And there's a meditation and a prayer with each one of these. Here, Jesus is condemned by Pilate. Jesus is scourged. We love you, Jesus. Establish your kingdom among us. Finally, Jesus takes up His cross. That's the first seven. Now we cross over to the other side of the upper room. And I assume you've been in here to pray. If you haven't been in here, you, you must come into the upper room and, and uh, see our beautiful prayer chapel. Now, the second set of seven, eight through fourteen, start over here. Here, Jesus is with Simon of Cyrene, you remember, who takes up the cross for Jesus and carries it for Him. Jesus with the weeping women. You'll find this in Scripture. These are the biblical stations of the cross. Here Jesus is crucified. Now Jesus is with the two thieves. Notice the, the artwork. Each one of these is, is filled with meaning. So you have one thief with a clenched fist, one thief with an open hand. One continues to mock with the crowd, Jesus Christ. One believes in His kingdom, offers Jesus mercy, and is given mercy. Here, station 12 is where Jesus entrusts His mother into the care of His disciple John. Station 13, where Jesus dies. And finally, Jesus is buried. Jesus, now the time of surrender, of being at rest begins. Because Jesus dies with Father, I commit this into your hands. Into your hands I commit my spirit. And Jesus simply rests and waits for the Father to act. We love you, Jesus. Fill us with your peace. And so we're with Jesus through His entire cycle of suffering. From Gethsemane to the Garden of Joseph of Arimathea where Jesus is buried and entrusts Himself into the hands of the Father and on the third day will be raised to newness of life. Well, this is a powerful devotional exercise that you can engage in any time, but especially during Lent. And then as we get into Holy Week, I encourage you, I invite you to come and make a progression through these 14 stations. If you really take your time and pray and meditate, it'll take about, I don't know, about 20 minutes, but it's very powerfully formative joining Jesus Christ in His suffering. So I invite you to the upper room and to go on the journey of the 14 biblical stations of the cross.